I'm Daphne Brown, I'm a columnist at the Vancouver Sun and with me is Sandy James. Sandy is a professional pedestrian. She works for the City of Vancouver and worries about whether or not our walking experience is as good as it should be. And today we've been walking around her neighbourhood, which is Southlands and Dunbar. We started in Dunbar and now we're in Southlands, as you can see, down by the Fraser River. So Sandy, tell me, what do you love about your neighbourhood and walking in your neighbourhood? What I like about walking in Dunbar and Southlands, Daphne, is it's just so diverse that you can have a commercial area with a really tight urban knit and fabric, and you can actually come down to areas like this, which are the salt marshes and flatlands going into the Fraser and watch a working river. So I like the diversity of it, that there's so much walking to do. Tell me about the, the experience. I mean, is there, are there things that you would change in the, in the Dunbar neighborhood, the, the city experience, the urban experience? One is the sidewalks aren't quite wide enough that they're the old standard, which is normally three feet instead of being one in 1.2 meters, 1.8 meters. And we also found there was not a lot of connectivity to that, that the, some of the sidewalks were there, some weren't. And, and, and sometimes not a lot of visual interest. You want to have things for tots that, that's three feet or one meter above the ground to see. And for us as adults, that's two meters above just to keep visual interest. Are there really different, are there big differences between neighborhoods, say east side, west side, north, south, but are there big differences? I think there are. I think there are some neighbourhoods that have a much more cohesive connectivity. There are neighbourhoods that are used to walking, that they see walking as a way to increase the social mesh, mesh and be able to talk with each other. Part of it too for us as citizens is to realise that it is our right. It's number one in the city's transportation plan. Walkers are first, then it's bicyclists, then it's, then it's uh, buses and servicing vans and then cars. And we need to be, make that really clear when we talk to people that really walkers should be number one and we should make the city easier for walkers.